Hello, my dear students and viewers. Welcome to my channel, Scorpio Class. So here we are with one more new video and an informative video for all my dear viewers and students of Class 8. And yes, we are going to share the model question paper of first language English for Class 8. So here you will get an idea of how the questions are going to be asked for first language English students for Class 8 board exam. And remember, this is a model paper for March 2024. So let's get started. But before that, if you're new to my channel and watching my video for the first time, do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get the notification of all the upcoming videos. Now here we'll start with first language English model paper but before that let me inform you that I have already uploaded second language English science social and max model paper of class 8 in my channel and the link will be shared in the i button above and although the playlist link will also be shared so can go to my playlist and check the other videos also. So here let's uh, see the questions and answer the objective questions and the rest we will just go with the questions to have an idea of how and what kind of questions are going to be asked. So very firstly we have first main choose the correct alternatives and complete the answer of question numbers are 1 to 16 like 16 questions will be multiple choice questions each carry one mark. Okay, so first question, due to heavy rainfall, the huge tree fell down and unfortunately Shamu was caught dash the tree. Choose the suitable preposition to fill in the blank. So you also have the picture here. You can see and take the help of the right preposition on, at, under or above. And the right answer is under, right? Under preposition is the right and suitable one. Okay, next. Kiran fell from the cycle and broke his bones, got injured. He immediately consulted and dash. Choose the most appropriate option. To whom will he consult for bone injury? Obstetrician, orthopedician, pediatrician or dermatologist? So answer is orthopedician. It's a specialist who treats bone injuries. Okay, next. We should dash how to say dash without hurting others. You have to choose the appropriate and correct set of words which has to be used in this blank. No, all are no and now, but you should exactly select the right spelling. Okay, so we should know it will be K N O W, no, how to say no, N O no. So it is option A over here. So option A will be the right answer. We should know how to say no without hurting others. Okay, next, Varuna said Megha Vahana that he was truly dash and noble. The correct form of the word to be used in the blank is compassion, compassionately, compassionating or compassionate. The answer will be D, compassionate. Okay, it's an objective about describing about a person's quality. Next, Akash's parents were reluctant to expose their only son to the rough and tumble of boarding school life. The synonym of the underlined word is the underlined word is reluctant. So synonym is surprised, afraid, unwilling or angry. The right answer is unwilling. Reluctant means not willing to or do something. Okay, you're hesitating. So the synonym is unwilling. Next, the word which rhymes with the word along is dash. Lung, song, wing or gang. So the rhymes, the syllables which matches, the sound which matches along is song. So option B is the right answer. Next, dash, dog is dash, very faithful animal. You have to fill in with appropriate articles. So you have options here. So the right option will be option A, the and a. The dog is a very faithful animal. Okay, next. I had dash. But, sorry, I had dash bus at Ambala early in the morning. The correct phrase will be arrived over, arrived at, arrived on, arrived by. And the answer will be I had arrived by option D. Option D will be your right answer. I had arrived by bus at Ambala early in the morning. Okay. 
I was the first woman doctor of India and got a dash ovation for that. So the right option would be stood, stand, standing or stands. So it's obviously option C, standing, standing ovation for that. Next, Swaminathan realized that dash evenings were more precious than ever. Options are him, her, he or his. So the right pronoun used here will be his. Swaminathan realized that his evenings were most precious than ever. Okay, next question. We must cheer him up. He was feeling grey all day. The word grey is used to describe the feeling of anger, dullness, envy or happiness. And answer is dullness. Okay, next. The word irrigate has dash syllables. Is it three, four, two or one? Answer is three. Irrigate. So when it's a breaking of the sounds to make this word. So if you pronounce, you can make out how many words or letters or sounds. You need to say one word, irrigate. So here you get three syllables, three sounds. Okay. Next. The word which matches the word sleeper to form a compound word is night, dress, coach or time. So what is a compound word where two words are used together to give some meaning. So here sleeper coach, it is a compartment in a train, right? Sleeper coach. So sleeper coach goes together. It's a compound word. Option C is the right answer. Next, the word which takes an, which takes an as a prefix in to form the opposite word. Okay, so here there are four words. Which word would take an as a prefix? Prefix means the word which is used before the word, before starting of the word to make it as an opposite or an antonym. So is it capable, honest, content or happy? So it's option D, happy. Because the opposite of happy is unhappy. So here you use the prefix UN before happy, right? So it is unhappy, option D. Next, the correctly spelled word in the given option is. Here, parasol spelling is given. There are four different types of spellings. You have to choose the correct spelling of it. So, option B is the correct spelling for parasol. Next, we have a picture. The above picture depicts about child labor, female labor, male labor, or labor day. So, it's of course child labor. Children are working, both of them. So, it is a child labor. Okay, so here we finish our 16 questions of MCQs. Now we'll move on to our second main rewrite as directed for question number 17 to 20. Again, it is one mark question. So you, your question number continues. 17. The teacher instructed the students to buy hard the poem. What is the meaning of the underlined idiom in the given sentence? What do you mean by buy hard? Means to loan, loan without seeing, to memorize it, right? So that's the meaning. Next, we saw a new film on wildlife. Change the sentence to present perfect tense. So how do you use this as a present perfect tense? You need to change and write it. Okay. Next. Rushes the bed to but be. Rearrange the words into a meaningful sentence. You have to arrange the words in such a way that it makes a meaningful sentence. So you could change it as Banbi rushes to the bed. So that would be a correct sentence. So you should write that way. Next, round the rugged rock, the rapid rod and ran. Identify the figure of speech used in the given line. Round the rugged rock, the rapid rod and ran. So you see here that uh, R sound is repeated. It starts with R sound for every letter. So you can mark it as alliteration figure of speech. Round, rugged, rock, rapid, rod and run. All the words, most of the words are starting with R sound, R sound right? So it will be alliteration. Next. Do as directed again 21 to 26 question, two mark questions. So he said, I have lost my umbrella. Change the sentence into indirect speech. He said that he had lost his umbrella. 
that is how you change it okay next use the word right in two different sentence to bring out two different meanings of the word okay so this word has two meanings one is right side and one is right work so that way you have to use those words in two different sentence and it should have two different meanings of right i hope it's clear you can make your any meaningful sentence using this word next you have some words over here rearrange the given words in order as you find it in dictionary so surprise step shadow suffer sure sacrifice i hope you know how to identify the uh, words how it would be arranged in an ascending order of the starting of the letters according to the alphabetical uh, order so you can find it and you can write over here what the one which will be coming first in the dictionary like the letters the alphabets which will be from uh, will, will be the starting letters will be coming first that is how you need to fix it up next you have four pictures here. She was collecting flowers. Mary went to the garden. She ran away. Suddenly she saw a spider. Okay. So you have to make it in a form of sequential order. Like order of occurrence. What would she or this picture would have done? Which picture would be first in the story if you were to say a story? So of course first Mary will go to garden. So first will be Mary went to the garden. And she was collecting flowers after going to the garden she started collecting flowers then suddenly she saw a spider over there and then she got afraid and she ran away so you will write first sentence will be mary went to the garden she was collecting flowers she suddenly saw a spider she ran away so this is how you will arrange it in a sequential order okay next observe the given picture and write a paragraph in about four to five sentence on the given theme so you could see that there is the wastage of food going on so you can just write a paragraph about it you can mention about the importance of food and how we should not waste the food because there are many people who are starving and our economy our society really needs the help so on the basis of that you can write your own thoughts in a form of paragraph next question 26 read the following conversation and answer the given questions in a sentence each Okay, so you have a conversation, read it, and then you need to answer this. Where and between whom is the conversation taking place? You can pause the video and read the conversation, observe it, and then you can answer it, okay? Where and between whom is the conversation taking place? How late is Chennai Express reaching to the station? Okay, these are two questions. You will get the answer in the conversation. Next, again, do as directed. Three mark question. Identify the proverbs by observing the picture and write them. Okay. A dash is a word, a thousand words. Okay. So you need to see the picture and which word would be heard that, so that it make a proper idiom or a proverb. Every dash has a silver dash. Okay. So just observe it and write it. Don't judge a book by its cover. Okay, the last one I have just done for you. Don't judge a book by its cover. Same way you need to do it for all the two questions over here and write it. Okay, next is read the given lines from the poem and write a summary in your own words. Okay, so here there is a stanza from a poem. You need to read it and write the explanation or a summary in your own words over here. Hold fast to dreams, for if dreams die, life is a broken winged bird that cannot fly. Hold fast to dreams, for when the dreams go, life is a barren field frozen with snow. Okay, so what have you understood in this poem? You need to write it in your own words in a paragraph as a summary. Next, read the timetable and answer the following questions. Okay, so you are here, you have some timetable of, um, you can say, flights. Or some prices, uh, yeah, Air India and Indigo, it's of course the prices of the, uh, and the timings of the flight. So you need to go through it, observe it properly and then answer the question. Which is the cheapest airways to travel to New Delhi comparatively? Comparing this, you need to write which is the cheapest airways to travel to New Delhi. Next, how long does Air India flight take to reach New Delhi from Bengaluru? 
Third, why does Indigo flight take 5 hours, 25 minutes to reach New Delhi? So all these answers will be available in the picture given over here, the data given over here. Pause the video, find it, and you can write the answer. So these are the patterns how and how, which way the questions may be asked for your board exams. I hope you are getting a clear idea. Next, fifth question is again, read the passage and answer the question. There is a passage on Lakshadeep. Okay, so you have to read it. You can pause it again and you can go through it. Question is, where is Lakshadeep located and what does it mean? Okay, you will get the answer here. How can tourists visit Lakshadeep? Okay, so these two are comprehension-based questions. Next question is, imagine you are Somesh or Sumana studying in class 8, comment high school, Tumkur. Write a letter to your friend describing about your school trip. So this is informal letter, right? You're writing a letter to your friend. It carries five marks. Or you are writing a letter to your class teacher requesting him or her to grant you four days leave to attend your sister's wedding. Okay, so this is a formal letter which you are writing to your class teacher asking for four days leave. So you have an option either formal or informal, whichever you know the best and you know the format, you can choose one and write it. And with this, your paper comes to an end. So this is how your board exam first language English board paper would be this was uh, just a sample and a model paper for you all to get a clear idea how and what kind of questions would be asked i hope this video is helpful and you got an idea and you like the video if you liked it do hit the like button and share it with your friends and stay tuned for more such videos thank